Why do women try to force men to like them? Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, the link is in the description. All right, I got to analyzing the other day. When you start watching all these channels and you start watching everyone's videos, it's going to boil down to the same thing. Men like women a certain way that they are attracted to, but women are trying to say we're high value because of something complete opposite. That's what this entire debate is about. Whenever it comes to relationships, man and woman, women are like guys, they can't provide, they don't have money. They can't stick with our standards. Guys are like, you're not even a woman. You're out here acting like a man. You're out here sleeping around. You're out here doing a whole bunch of stuff that's unladylike. And then you want to be treated like a princess. That's what men are upset about. All right. Why are women trying to force men to love them under the conditions that men do not love women under? Men don't want to marry a whore. Men don't want to be in a relationship with a compatible woman that loves to debate and argue all the time. Men don't want a woman who has slept around with a lot of guys and is beat up psychologically. And then by the time he gets her, he has to be a guidance counselor to her. He has to be a psychiatrist, a motivational speaker. He has to be all of these things to correct her. Like a man has to correct a woman before he even thinks about dating her. That's what you're gonna learn as you take this red pill. You're gonna learn like the smarter I get, she's not attractive to me unless she submits and does everything that I want out of a woman. And in a lot of cases, you have to not sleep with her, program her brain, then decide if you wanna like her. You gotta, you gotta mold her to you. Why are women convinced that men want a woman that works a lot of hours. You know why? Because that's what grandma told her. That's what her mom told her. Her mom told her, girl, get out here and go survive on your own and don't think about a man because men ain't nothing, all right? And then the guys who were raised by single moms, the single moms turned around and told their sons, oh, you want a girl who works hard, a woman who's educated, got her own job, run a business, career driven woman. She's telling her son that he should want the type of woman that she wants to be. Because society told her that that's what women are supposed to do. And grandma and auntie pretty much co-signed this deal. All right. Why do women think that men want a, a, a woman who slept around a lot? Why? Because when she goes and watch TV and when she's up late at night, she's doing the same thing as men doing. They're watching adult films. They're watching the porn and they're watching how these women perform in the porn. They're watching like, why do men turn around and congratulate the woman who is sleeping around? Why do men go and praise the woman who is like that? Because that woman is catering to his desires. What women are failing to realize when a man likes a woman because of desires, when those desires wear off, so does his love for the woman. And it's the same way around when it comes to a woman. You like a man for having money, but as soon as that money starts to die out, so does her feelings for him. Why? because that's the natural way things are supposed to go. But women nowadays, they're like, you know what? If I talk nasty, if I act nasty, I get all the attention from the guys. Now, not now that makes me popular. Now I take the attention. You notice that? Look at all these um, female bloggers. These, these women that wanna be YouTubers and female bloggers. The only thing that they can do is debate with men about women issues. 
That's it. But the type of guys that they could debate with are only beta males. Women can only debate with beta males because beta males are going to allow that. And this is not a shot at Kevin Samuels at all. This is a shot at a lot of you guys that be doing radio. What Kevin Samuels is doing is genius. Big shout outs to that dude. That man's a genius. I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. I'm talking to you guys out there that do radio. You always like to be debating with women and stuff like that. I'll be hearing a lot of, a lot of podcasts going on. I'm talking about a lot of podcasters that I'll be listening to on Spotify. And you guys always have these women on there. These are women that you cannot get. Why is there always a group of beta male guys debating with women that they can't get about what men want and what women want? First of all, a lot of you guys, you have to be a man. You cannot be mommy's little son anymore. A lot of y'all are mommy's little son. You've been programmed to be uh, uh, um, submissive to your mom. So y'all trying to, when you come across these dominant women, they remind you of your mom. You're used to that environment. That right there has to stop because women need to be corrected. They don't need to be dominated. You take a dominant woman and you put her in a room with beta males. Only thing that that dominant woman has to do is wear something sexy. That's it. Stupid women that want to be smart just have to dress sexy. When a dominant woman wants to control a man, she dresses sexy. This is how a lot of strippers get all, get over on you guys. When a woman belongs to the streets and she loses all that sensitivity that she has as a woman and now she's numbed out where sex is really nothing to her. Matter of fact, you know they for the streets when they start dating other women. That's how you know that they're officially for the streets. But these type of women that when they learn a man and they learn everything, they use it against them to gain power. Why? Because it caters to his desires. When a man becomes very knowledgeable, he becomes very alpha, his desires shrink. So he don't get excited off of ass and titties anymore. That's the problem. That's really the problem right there. Women feel like it's okay to take on the traits of a whore in order to get attention because this is what the type of this is what men like but they're not failing to realize they're only surrounding themselves around beta males that's going to give in to them because the beta males aren't really paying attention to what they're saying because they're hypnotized about their body parts beta males are just happy to be in a room full of women they don't even care about the debate they're just happy to be there because they'd rather have a woman around them talking about nothing than to not have a woman at all why because females validate beta males and beta males validate females ego the problem in order for in order for women to be corrected with delusion they have men have to really pull away to show them what's going on because the beta male trend is starting to run out why do women think that a man wants to walk in your life and take care of your kids. I'm wondering that. Why do women feel like that? What makes a woman okay to say, all right, I made two mistakes or I made three mistakes with three different dudes or I made a mistake twice with one dude, right? He's running me down. I'm emotionally, I'm emotionally messed up. I'm not even fit for a relationship, barely fit to be a mom, even though she loves her kids. But for some reason, she thinks with all those liabilities that she has, that it should be okay for another man to walk into her life and take care of that problem. He's obligated to take care of that problem. What makes women think this? What gives women the okay for this? Society. Society, society, news, colleges, agendas have completely convinced women that they run the world. But whenever they get put in power, they can't handle the power to run the world. They want to act like a little girl when everything goes wrong. 
A woman can only be powerful whenever she's not obligated to face the truth. And this is the reason why women think we're supposed to like them for reasons that we don't. This is Anthony Spade. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.